How are we doing today, Green Thumbs? My name is Brandon, here to do part two on the series of making your own water-soluble calcium, so stay tuned. So in step one of the video, I did show you how to um, gather the ingredients, cook them or burn them to the proper ratios, and then add them to apple cider vinegar or rice wine vinegar. And then you had to wait one to two weeks until the bubbling ended up, or until the bubbling stopped, and then we get to strain it and cap it and it is ready for use at that point. So here they are two weeks later. You can see a mother culture from the vinegar is developed and fully in there. And then we have the uh, burnt uh, eggshells and the burnt bones in there as well. But you don't see any activity. You can definitely tell that the color is much darker than what it was. We did start with apple cider vinegar to begin with. So let's start the next step here i'm going to start with the eggshell one this is the water soluble calcium this would be used through the vegetative stage and then once you hit flower you switch into your calfas so it's just going to be as simple as opening it up grab yourself a metal strainer helps to have a little funnel less mess and we're just gonna pour it in. And then I'm just gonna save this for the compost pile because there are still good nutrients in there and we don't let any of that go to waste. So I'm gonna set that aside. And here is the water soluble calfos. And the reason why we got the phosphorus is because we started with bone material. Again, just strain it. So as you can see, step two is pretty simple as it is just straining the mixture. And then we can cap it. And then don't forget to mark them. So as you can see here in Korean natural farming, this is the water soluble calfos. And that is from the bones. I don't think this stuff really does go bad. Both of these can be used at 1000 to 1 ratios and then be worked up to like 750 to 1 as you get further along in plant growth. So I'm going to cap the eggshell one and I'm going to label that water soluble calcium. Then just a little recap, the water soluble calcium is used during the vegetative period or the growth period. This combined with fermented plant juice is excellent all around, covers most of your bases or almost all your bases for the growth period. And then during the flowering period, you're going to want to switch over to your calfas and this with the fermented fruit juice is an all around fertilizer to finish off any of your plants. So thank you all for watching. I hope you all learned something and I hope you guys are all starting seeds because it is seed starting time. Catch you next time. Peace.